And there it is. My metallic orange and blue Mazda 13B. Almost ready to be um, final assembled. Got a couple of more uh, modifications to make to make the aircraft conversion complete. Um, I went ahead and milled off the Mazda 13B back to aluminum color. I think that turned out pretty nice. And there it is. I think all I'm waiting for now in order to put it together is my engine is a a uh, six port as you'll notice I have the two ports right there in the middle and then I also have two ports on each end so in these end ports here in the top hole you'll notice it's a little bit bigger round than this, the bottom hole but in the top hole there's a power valve that goes in there that is computer adjusted it's turned um, in a uh, clockwise counterclockwise direction to variably open the intake um, on the Mazda engine. For our application, um, I'm not really concerned about losing that very low end torque in the low RPMs because uh, in an airplane I'm never going to be running there. I'm going to hit full throttle on the runway and uh, Within the first little bit, we'll be above that, where that low end torque would be helpful. So I actually ordered some parts from Atkins Rotary, and they go in there to uh, mellow the transition. If you look in here, this is the port here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it comes back in here and just dead ends. You'll notice where this port comes in and flares in so that the fuel and airflow can come directly in. This one bottoms out and creates a turbulent area in there. So Atkins Rotary makes a sleeve that goes in here and then flares up the end to bring it in properly. Uh, there are a couple of other ways that people have been doing that. Um, one of them is they've been just epoxying that end in and then uh, smoothing it. But the problem with that is if the epoxy comes loose, it can go on into your engine which is not a good idea. Uh, this other part, I'm also going to epoxy in the hole, but it's a big full sleeve that fits in the hole. There's no way, even if it did come in unattached, which it won't because we have a lot of glue area, it couldn't get into the engine and cause me any problems. So I will update you on that update as soon as those parts come in from Atkins Rotary and I will install them. But here we go. That's it. Give you one more look around. My orange blue 13B. There it is.